in my crack. The sweat in my crack. Who said that you could be on the internet looking like this? Who? Who gave permission? Thanks for coming to my video. It's nice to see you here. How was your week? Ah, all right. Well, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a cozy thrift haul. And is it gonna be a regular thrift haul? No, this isn't just what I picked up over last weekend. This is everything interesting that I've thrifted in the last year. Come with me, let's go. So I ran around my house and I grabbed all the things that we've thrifted in the last year that I thought was interesting or fun or cheeky. That includes decor as well as clothes. Um, I'm not gonna show you every single item I've ever thrifted over the last year because it is one of our favorite kind of pastimes. We do it a couple of times a month. We don't always pick up things. We like to just go look, but um, very often we do buy stuff and usually <sighs> light bulbs that are very useful. We're not gonna go through the boring stuff. Well, we're not gonna go through the, what I think is boring stuff. You make your own decisions. I'm sure. Shit. Ow. Ow, my eyelash poked me in the eye. I said, girl, shut up. You are boring. <laughs> Don't try to act like there's like people out there watching your videos. Let's see if I can get this together. So what I'm going to show you is just the things that I think were interesting. I think it's a fun little walkthrough and reflection on the things that I did actually pick up over the last year at various thrift stores. Now we around here in Cincinnati um, have Valley, Thrift, Goodwill, and St. Vincent de Paul's. I'm sure there's probably other little ones or maybe little niche ones that I don't know the names of, but the ones that I generally go to are Goodwill, St. Vincent de Paul, and Valley Thrift. And we do try to make a rotation and not just hit the same one all the time. And sometimes we find some pretty cool things. So let's get started. First things that we'll go through is kind of the decor-y items. Um, I feel like I got a lot more Halloween and Christmas items that I couldn't find, but I have been known to buy outdoor lights. Usually the thrift stores have little plugs that you can check to make sure that they work. So instead of spending $15 on the same box at Target, I might spend $4.99 on a box of outdoor lights or Kind of random things like that power cords and stuff like that we think we might use and those will kind of all get pushed into a box so probably won't see any of those but what you will see a lot of is uh candle items and <laughs> uh, candle holders and uh, actual candles and fig candles and candles candles i probably have six or seven um kind of yankee candle-esque or very odorous candles that I've already burned uh, throughout the year and those aren't here anymore. But I'll tell you, if you really rake that candle section at the thrift store, you can find $24 candles for $3.99. And maybe they've only been burnt like once or twice, maybe. Those things last forever. Well, not if you use them as much as I do. <laughs> but I just don't know how they have the audacity to charge $24.99 and up for scented candles. Retail price, it just, oh. <laughs> it's, it's just a hot tip, so take that for what it's worth. Let's start with the holiday items. Uh, this I just picked up is one of my more recent ones. It is a pearl covered pumpkin. It has a little place to put a tea light. Um, I would think a, a flameless tea light candle. 
um, and I just thought that she was so darn pretty and I couldn't help it and I picked her up. Um, I don't remember how much everything costs, but I know that I get a little cheesed up if I have to spend more than $5 on an item unless I really, really, really like it. Um, so everything's probably going to be about $5 or less, some probably $7.99. Um, clothes is a little different usually I don't know why they've been charging so much for clothes lately sometimes I can get good deals with clothes four bucks but lately they've all been kind of eight dollars and up but I know this was it had to have been five dollars or under and it's really super cute I have this gorge little Thanksgiving candle fall, fall themed uh, with all the pumpkins and I don't have a lot of Thanksgiving Theme decorations uh, and this was just so super cute it's never been used it was four dollars and I will put that out for Thanksgiving and more than likely burn it but the candle holder is reusable this candle isn't even attached in there it does have a little busted side but you know what that goes in the back nobody has to see it four bucks it's super cute Next up is another candle holder. Uh, this one's got a real candle in it, so I'm trying to be super careful. Um, but clearly it is a witch riding a broom. Um, and let me hop up and turn my lights off real quick and maybe we can see it. Ooh, so spooky. I think it's really cute. This is the first time I put a candle in it and I think it looks amazing. Now when I put it downstairs on my mantle, it'll probably have a flameless candle in it. I try my artist to be safe, but I do actually like <laughs> real candles as well. And it's just a little tea light uh, holder. Maybe a little Voltive would fit back here, but come on. That is so good. I love it. Okay. <laughs> this is a ridiculous Halloween item. It's a toilet paper roll holder <laughs> but when you spin it it makes Halloween sounds it does have a little on off button um, to turn it off but it was like a dollar and I couldn't help myself so come about two or three weeks from now you'll be hearing some a lovely Halloween sounds while you're doing it too. <laughs> this was two dollars. It is just a bag of um, beaded garland and I always put one gold beaded strand of garland on top of my Christmas tree. I've done it for many 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 years. I just had this one very long strand of gold beads. But this year we're gonna jazz it up since we found this for $2. Uh, oh God, this is probably annoying, right? Great sound design. <laughs> um, you get some really good prices and it's nice to kind of pick up something that somebody already used and bought and uh, you're not just running out to the store and getting brand new stuff. But this year, my Christmas tree is gonna look gorgeous. Like I said, I have a little bit of an issue with candle aesthetic and Halloween decorations at the same time, so. <laughs> uh, these are flameless candles. Again, uh, they all have Halloween themed spooky things on them. Um, and so it's really nice to just kind of not have to find a, a holder or something cute to put these in. We're just going to put these right out. These unfortunately don't have timers. A lot of them these days have like, you could flip it to timer and it'll go off by itself. Um, but these don't, so I'll have to remember to turn them off in the evenings before we go to bed or else I'll run all the batteries down. <laughs> uh, but these are so cute.
this next one. I'm not sure how if you'll be able to see it really well. And I know that you could get these anywhere. Uh, I know you can just pick these up at Walmart or Walgreens or pretty much anywhere during the holiday season, but I found one. I think this was 50 cents or a dollar um, at the thrift store. I don't have to keep saying at the thrift store. Everybody knows that I've got these at the thrift store. Okay, I'm gonna. But it, it's a little skeleton face inside. Inside this tumbler. And I got my iced coffee in it right now. Mm. <sighs> Everything tastes better if it's being slurped out of the depiction of a human skull. Am I right? Oh. This next flameless candle I got very, uh, almost a year ago, so he's a little dusty. This heckin' chonker is on a timer, so I never have to turn him off and on at night. It just always comes on about the time I go to bed, and it's off in the morning. And I haven't changed its batteries in a while, so it lasts a pretty long time. I do really love the soft light. I have this mirrored hanging decoration that's a candle holder that I I rest this guy in at night and it kind of reflects in the in the mirror and it just gives off the most relaxing light and it's one of my favorite things that I have in my bedroom so I'm glad I picked him up he was two dollars <laughs> and let's see what he looks like with the lights off we start with the lights off on this one uh, this is a beautiful glass candle holder. It is clear and green glass. It just kind of sparkles when there's nothing in it as the light hits it. I don't know if that is translating on camera, um, but it does also give off this really super gorgeous um, glow with a candle in it as well. I just, I had to have this. I really think it was only three or four dollars when I picked it up. Um, and I'm really glad I got it because it's just so beautiful and I can use it all year round. It's good for spring, summer, winter, and f fall is the other one. <laughs> I think maybe you can tell a little bit better with the lights on how it just, they just kind of catch the light because they're faceted glass, I think they call it. Faceted, faceted? faceted glass <laughs> uh, where it's just uh, placed together or cut differently to grab the light so so great <laughs> and I'm not 100% sure but I think this is the last candly no it's not I've got one more <laughs> second to the last candly thing um, I got from the thrift store these were still in the box that they came in some sort of fancy home decor brand I've never heard of. These are not on a timer so I do have to remember to turn them off but they do kind of have a more realistic look to them especially if I put them inside a candle holder um, but they're really really cute and they usually stay on the headboard of my bed um, and I like to have them on because if I forget to turn them off it's no big deal at least I'm not burning my house down but it still gives me that warm candlelight ambiance that I feel is so relaxing in the evening as I'm kind of winding down and trying to get to sleep. <laughs> Just kidding. It's fake. It looks real though, doesn't it? So I I had to have this mostly because I was like, look, I can I am I am a Victorian child creeping through the hallways with my candle. <laughs> I think I pretended to be a young Victorian child wandering through the halls with the lights off for about 10 minutes after I got home with this. Um, I'm not sure how much this was. Again, uh, it's got to be under five bucks usually or else I'm not going to pick it up um, unless it's really worth it. Uh, it takes D batteries, so it's kind of heavy and it just it has this flickery. 
it's hard to, it just moves and flickers like a real flame and it's mesmerizing. This is also on a timer. So it's on the other side of my room on my jewelry box, comes on about the same time as the other one, goes off by itself. I don't have to change the batteries very often. Um, and it just is again that relaxing candlelight flame that my little, I don't know, renaissance heart desires. I'm not sure. <laughs> I think this is the very last candle related item. Uh, this is a absolutely gorgeous candelabra. This was $10. It is on a marble base. The where you place the candles and the feet are metal. This stem is plastic. It has these gorgeous little crystal dingly dangs. Um, I have been thinking about just stringing some uh, glass beads together and making new crystal dingly dangs for it. Um, but because one of them is a little jank, uh, it's missing the the upper portion of it um, but for now this will work and if you're wondering yes I actually have probably 50 tapered candles again just have a problem buying candles it's like an addiction or something it feels a little special to use tapered candles um, but I do have them all over the house actually let me grab my bag and see what it looks like with the candles in it. <sighs> da, 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 da. A little crooked. Got a little crooked candles. But you get the gist, right? <laughs> it does actually hold the candles. It looks great and super fancy. And it was only $10. And I'm glad that it's in my life. No rag rats here. camera just overheated so let's see if I can get you back to where you were want to talk about my next obsession that I have when I go to the thrift store glassware now I'm gonna grab some b-roll of these to try to show you some better detail but these are all glassware it's McDonald's glassware and they are all Batman forever themed now, was Batman Forever a good movie? Oh shit. My air conditioner's on. <laughs> Hold on. Was Batman Forever a good movie? No. But are these glasses absolutely amazing? Yes. And the fun part about this set, and I don't know if it's a whole set, I didn't do any research to see if they only had four. But we didn't get all these at the same thrift store. I actually found this, it's uh, the Riddler one. Um, and I know you can't really see it very well. Uh, but that's the first one we found at one thrift store. And then about seven months later at a different one, we found a whole bunch. And we went through all of them. And these, besides the uh, Riddler one, these were the only other three that were different. You've got your Two Face and uh, the Union Term, Cincinnati Union Term, I mean the Hall of Justice. <laughs> uh, this one's Robin with the Batmobile on the back. And then we have Batman with Gotham Skyline on the back. And the handles are all interestingly carved. Um, Two Faces is all coins. Um, the Riddlers is upside down, which is fun. Um, and they're all textured differently, so that's really cool. Uh, this was, I don't know, we kind of felt like we had the jackpot with this. Uh, we do love to pick up interesting glassware. Speaking of fine glassware, Now I'm sure this is a promotional cup that, uh, that would probably sit on the counter um, and they'd shove full of cow tails, uh, but why I got it, it's because the handle is an actual cow tail. And this is a uh, perfect size for iced coffee again, just saying, if you needed to know. But how cute is this little cow tail handle? 
for this cowtail cup. Next obsession. <laughs> I have a very tiny collection of old books. Uh, I got this copy of Treasure Island. I don't want to mess with it too terribly much. I think I did some research to try to figure out if I could find when this one was published, and I couldn't. Um, it could be from the 60s, it could be earlier. It doesn't have any dates uh, on the inside of the, this book itself. So, uh, if you know, are you into books? Are you into old books? They smell wonderful. <laughs> um, but I really liked the illustration. Um, I liked this patina, I guess I'll call it, on this book. Um, clearly it had gotten wet or used. Somebody loved this book. Um, and the front is really gorge. So that's really what drew me to it, to pick, pick this one up. This next book caught my eye inside the glass case. This one I spent $30 on. Um, is it worth $30? It was, clearly it was to me, um, but it caught my eye. It is called Queenly Women Crowned and Uncrowned. And it is got all this kind of gold-esque gilding on the book. It's one of those books that has the gold gilding on the, on all the sides. What I, when I saw the book, I asked her, I asked the cashier if I could just look at it. I wasn't convinced that I was going to purchase it. It was $30 and I really don't like to spend that much on one item at the thrift store. But when I opened the book and found all of these incredible tissue, <laughs> each one of them has tissue paper to protect it, illustrations of these different women throughout history. And they are absolutely gorgeous. Um, this book published in by Granston and Stowe, Cincinnati, Ohio. They have a Cincinnati, Ohio, I guess, publishing house. It also says Chicago, Illinois, and St. Louis, Missouri, but that got me. I was like, okay, I, this is clearly meant for me. Um, and it says it's illustrated with elegant steel engravings. Take it with a grain of salt this book being written in 1880. You take it with a grain of salt since this was at least copyrighted in 1885. Um, I just was struck by how beautiful the steel engravings were in this book and how much time and attention somebody put in to telling some of these women's stories, uh, for better or for worse, depending on the woman, um, and just getting it out there that, you know, we've got, we've done some great things and we've got a lot of great things to say. Now for um, a permanent staple on my mantle that most people look at me like I'm insane for, um, but I don't care because I love him. And that is my boy Blue. Now, when I was a child, a small child, um, I stayed with my grandparents a lot, and in my grandfather's bedroom above his bed, there were these two portraits, which I thought were, in my mind as a small girl, I thought they were brother and sister. Um, turns out these were painted probably hundreds of years apart by two entirely different painters, but at some point in time, I think they were put together in a museum, like, close to each other, and people just, like, latched onto that, so they called them Boy Blue and Pink Girl, and it seemed that everybody in the 60s, um, they had them. They had some sort of depiction of them, uh, mostly in uh, print form on their walls, and my grandma definitely had that in her house. And I always thought that the paintings were both equally beautiful and a little creepy. <laughs> um, but when I saw Boy Blue in this amazing statuesque pose, um, I am now on a mission to find Pink Girl, which she has, she has to. She has to come in this form. They are almost never not seen together. 
Uh, so every time I go, it's kind of my mission to see if I can find where someone has given up their pink girl. So I can put her up on the other side of my mantle, um, but check out Boy Blue. What's up, doll? And before we get into the fashion portion of this video, which will be me doing a montage of some of the outfits that I purchased, but the rest are going to go on my mannequin Dorothy here, um, because uh, getting in and out of the probably 15 to 20 outfits that I have is uh, a very sweaty endeavor, and nobody wants to see that. Um, so I will put on a few, um, but the rest of them will be displayed on Dorothy here uh, so she can get some screen time because she wants some. So we gotta give Dorothy what she wants. Um, but before we do that, probably yet another obsession, but I was so freaking stoked when I found this. It is a Polaroid camera. Um, it is called a Spectra system and it has all of these strange buttons and things on the back of it that I have never seen. Now, I have four different Polaroid cameras in my collection and now I have this one and he pops up and what we're going to do is see if it actually works. You ready? Okay, there's old film in here. It's, it, it, yeah, it's old. I got some new film. Let's go. Okay, so I have my film. Um, I couldn't tell if this was, um, it looks like a camera that should take the 600 Polaroid film, um, but I just couldn't tell. But I figured no biggie, um, because if it doesn't work, I do have a Polaroid camera that this will fit. It's too small. That's okay. Um, it has no information in here whatsoever on what type of film it takes. Um, so I'll have to do a little bit of research and figure out what all these buttons on the back are for. Now, let's get to the rest of the montage.
that's it. That's the end of my haul. If you stayed to the end, thank you so much for watching. Um, and if you're out there, hi mom, thanks for watching. But I'm so glad that you came to hang out with me today and enjoy all of my thrifted items. I want to hear about your thrifted items. What is the best thing that you found at a thrift store that you treasure so much? Again, thank you for sticking around until the end. Happy the start of cozy season and I love you so much. See you later. Bye.